I'm going to start by saying this and foremost. The Dallas Cowboys did not deserve to win this game. Although the score sheet, the score sheet or the score stat, the stats if you want to look at them basically told us that Dallas had outplayed the New York Giants in every single offensive category. Um they obviously scored more points. They had more passing yards. They had more rushing yards. Um, but the only thing that made this a game that was the big red, you know, the big red circle. I have a pencil here. The red circle around was the turnovers. I'm going to say this and foremost. If we... If we play the Eagles next week like we did tonight, we're going to get killed. We, we're, There's no way of saying it. We're going to get myrtleized. Because I guarantee you the Eagles can get in the end zone. The Giants did not get in the end zone on the offensive side of the football tonight. So I give our, our defense a lot of credit that they... They only gave up nine points on their end of the bargain. Of course, the Giants' only touchdowns, I should say, no, I, I'm sorry, I take that back. Rashad Jennings got one touchdown, but on the ground. Eli Manning didn't have a, t a passing touchdown. But the Giants looked like they were in great shape to win this game. I'm just saying. And they probably should. They probably should have won this game tonight. But I have no idea what Ben McAdoo, that's the um, the Giants offensive coordinator. I have no idea what he was thinking. Why? I know I'm a Dallas fan and all, but why would you pass the ball on third down and goal? I mean, you could have killed off at least another good 30, 40, 45 seconds off the clock. And that really probably would have cinched the game but I don't know but I'm grateful that we won this game but I gotta give you know the tip my cap to the Giants um you know they they made it a very good game um considering how offensively the Giants did not play well they only of course got one offensive touchdown from their running back Rashad Jennings but Huge shout out to Lance Dunbar. Dunbar came up clutch, um, considering the fact that our receivers kind of let us down just a slight bit. But obviously, the big news in this game was our two key players. We lost Randy Gregory for 46 weeks with that high ankle sprain, and it's been reported. It just actually showed up on my phone. Des Bryant is out four to six, at minimum four to six weeks with a broken bone in his foot. So um, that's a big loss right there for Dallas. That's a huge loss for the Cowboys. Um, best receiver in the league, and he gets injured. Um, but Romo just continues to silence, keeps continuously silencing the critics. And Romo just, was poised. He kept himself poised. He wasn't frantic. He obviously knew what to do, and he said, all right, boys, we're going to get this win. Let's go. And they went out there, and they got the win. But um, granted, granted, the Giants made this a game. The, um, the Giants definitely, their defense was great all the way up until the last minute, 30 seconds of the game. But um, I could be more proud of this team for fighting through the injuries. And I'm shocked I, I, because I probably would be yelling my head off at Jeremy Mincy. That motherfucker almost costed us the game. An unsportsmanlike conduct on Jeremy Mincy almost, and I repeat in big fat-ass words, almost costed us the game. 
but I will say this like I said before in the beginning of the video I personally as a Dallas fan feel like we probably should not have deserved to win this game but the Giants I have no idea what the Giants were thinking um I believe, if I remember correctly, this is our fourth straight year that we've played the Giants in season openers. Or no, I'm sorry. This is our fourth in the last five years. We we beat them in 2012. Or no, we, this is our third win against them in the last five years. Um, we beat them in 2012 at New York. 24 to 17 and then we beat them in uh 2013 we beat them 37 to 31 or 36 to 31 either one um last year we had played the 49ers which we were just fucking trash i mean we we were just trash against the 49ers last year in the opener but i don't know how we did it but Came at a price. We lost two of our key players. But um, I just hope we, we, we turn this around with the um, the turnovers. If, like I said, in like the middle section of the video, if we play the Eagles next week in Philadelphia, if we play them the way we did against the Giants tonight, we're going to get killed. Because... There's no way of saying it. Philadelphia is a much better team on the offensive glass of um, than the Giants. They just are. Um, I mean, they got great receivers. They um, obviously lost a big one this year in Jeremy Macklin. They lost Macklin to KC. Um, Zach Ertz actually has a groin injury. I don't know if he'll be able to play. I have that motherfucker on my fantasy team, too. Um... But that's huge. We um, we truly need, from a standpoint of our offense, we really need the turnover. To, or I shouldn't say turnover. The, no pun intended. But we really need to turn around the turnovers. It is the only way we could win next week. But now maybe the time has come. Will we see what Lucky Whitehead is all about? Dallas fans, and maybe NFL fans, leave comments in the comment section below on whether or not I'm actually right on this statement. Will Lucky Whitehead be able to play next week against the Eagles, and maybe in the far future, in place of Des Bryant, and maybe we'll get to see what this kid's really all about. But, first and foremost... Um, like I said, congrats to my, to my boys. They got the job done. Um, also congrats to the Giants for making it a game. And I had known Victor Cruz was injured. I didn't know he was injured. I actually just looked it up here. Um, it said he was ruled out for tonight's game against the, the Cowboys with a calf injury. So that was huge. But, um... The, the, the stars of this game, talking about Des Bryant and Odell Beckham Jr., they were not explosive. They weren't. It was a really good defensive game from a standpoint of the teams were kept out of the end zone for most of the game. But then, of course, we got Gavin Escobar in the third quarter. And then in the fourth qu quarter, um, or late in the third quarter, we hit Jason Witten. Wait, no. Now I gotta look back. No, it was the fourth quarter. I'm sorry. It was late in the fourth quarter when we had won the game on uh, a, a game winning touchdown from Jason Witten um, with seven seconds left. Uh, the first one from Witten was with five minutes to go in the game. And then Romo was never frantic, drove down the field, and we got the win. But, um,. I definitely expect us to play much better next week against Philadelphia. They're not going to be easy. 
We're going to see what DeMarco Murray looks like in a different jersey. Um, but I really hope that uh, we can continue this pace. I know it's only the first game of the year, but um, let's keep the good roll going. Leave comments in the comment section below on whether or not Lucky Whitehead will be a start for the four future in replace of Des Bryant.